cheese, babe. Bake up. Nice. <laughs> I don't really know what. You didn't give me any preparation. It's not very nice for you. Mm. Preparation, babe. Makes sense. Quick, quick. Oh, okay. We've only had like seven months. <laughs> <laughs> to this video. It's a bit of a showcase video for you guys that have never been to an SM Battle Reports tournament. Uh, if you haven't seen anything about them online, then hopefully this video will give you a real insight into sort of like the community aspect of it. We wanted to shoot this video for, for the guys at SM Battle Reports as a bit of an experience video for, from our perspective and also so that you, the viewer, can then see what we actually get up to uh, across the weekend of this, uh, this great tournament. So for loads of more information about SM Battle Reports, their old school style, like sort of White Dwarf SM written battle reports head to their website which is www.smbattlereports.com and uh, there's some information on there about the no retreat events this is the fifth one that they've held with many more coming so i hope you like the video and make sure you check all those details out that i just said enjoy the video guys and i'll uh, see you soon hi guys paro here from sm battle reports we're here at no retreat 5 in gibraltar for those of you who don't know what no retreat is it's a uh, event held here up, the, up in the nature reserve and um, it's an invite only so application based and it's basically a really really cool um, hobby weekend so it is an event it is a tournament we've got 38 players representing 12 different countries and it's awesome awesome weekend Primary, uh, for your maelstrom it's deadlock, so retrieval's four objectives, um, no more no less, each worth three points at the end of the, end of the game. Maelstrom's deadlock, you start with six, you go down to five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Select as well, so there's no other thing. Okay, um, so that's clear, any more questions? Some of you are new, but now when we all get up, we go into the first room, you just all clutter around, and me and Mike will explain the rules of terrain on each board. Then we'll walk to the other one, explain it there, and the timer will start at 10 o'clock. So we've got about 20 minutes. Ruin, ruin, ruin the rest. A line of sight blocking. That's nothing, obviously. Okay, cool. Ruins and forest, woods. Okay, easy. Ruins. If you have a base, we use the base. It's much easier this edition, okay? The woods for terrain are much, are much are worse actually, but it's easier to do it this way. So, things like for this, for example, these are acting as barricades. Barricade rules, you have to be, a, it's only for infantry. Yeah, only affects infantry. You have to be an inch away from it and from and from what you're, it's shooting at you. So, yeah. if, so you've got to get in here, you're there, through there. If you're shooting from there to then, nothing. Okay. Remember, you can fight across two inches of a barricade as well. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> this wall acts as a barricade at the top. The troops only benefit from it. Okay? Everything's measured. It's proper measurements. Okay? Nothing can deploy behind, even though there's some space. Nothing can deploy behind. A couple of pieces which are just line of sight blocking. So, these, this one, that one, the crates, and these. And then we've got three ruins that go across. So one, two, three. Bases act as ruins as well, just to make it easier. So these bases, if you're on it, it acts as a ruin as well. Okay? You, there's some stuff you can you can't get up on this crane, field of the crane, but there's two balconies here, which if you can get up, you can get up. Yeah, exactly. And fences again act across. Silence! Guys! Guys, guys! Listen! 
It's a four plus cover save. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, everything's line of sight, apart from the barricades in the middle. The woods, you use the outline on the map as counting as part of the woods. Same on that side. This is, it's not counting as anything. Just looks good. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit different. Okay, guys, there's a couple of pieces here which are just acting as um, line of sight blocking. So these three, that's obviously nothing. But the bigger pieces, we're acting them as ruins. We're not counting the base for these, okay? So just the silver bit of the thing. And we've got a couple of craters that act as the rules for this edition, which for troops is a uh, infantry against one, one, and it's ma uh, minus two minus for charges. Two charge. Okay, so there's four craters, that's quite simple. Just to, okay. okay. Um, same principle as the Prospero one. So the columns will be line of sight blocking. The road will be counting as a barricade only, not ruins. You can deploy up here. You can move along here. But remember that if you're like a tank, you're not getting down. And vice versa, you're not getting up if you're a tank. Everything else is ruins, as you see. Uh, that's being classed as ruins. The trees are just as they are. This sort of battlescape crash ship is nothing. So you can put feathers and stuff up. Yeah, but you see here, these extra bits are barricades. Okay? So ruins, ruins, ruins. There's a couple of craters, and if you see any of these, obviously barricades. <laughs> Things like that, but don't be stupid. That's not going to give you any cover for barricades. <laughs> Fences, barricades. These are just line of sight blocking. This, uh, just for ease of play, this bridge is part of the ruin. So this is all one big ruin. So yes, you are getting a cover save if you're on top of here and you're infantry. And you're using the base as well, but that's a yes. big base, but you are if you're on it. Yeah, again, so this sort of base, this rim bit, does count as ruins um, for the purposes of cover save. Uh, cool. to, to get the cover save. A couple of craters, and the whole thing inside here is acting as barricades. Forget the whole one inch from it. If troops are in there, it's acting up as a barricade, okay? And the last one? Uh, last one, nice and simple, uh, everything's ruined apart from the crate which is line of sight um, and the fence which is barricade. Okay? Okay, timer starts in 10 minutes. Guys, when you're facing your chest,
So he's gonna go over the mission again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, 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 Nine inches per face. Ace, nine inches per face. Are you listening? You understand it? Nine inches per face. Second. I know you can never understand what nine inches is. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Not many men do. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Yeah, we had some models in the cabinet during the weekend. Those were highly commended models. Believe me, it was really, really difficult. Like the standard was really, really high from everything. And we have awarded the best unit to. So he wins a trophy, certificate, and 20 pounds for more games. Is uh, James Odero and his Blood Angels Devastator. So best painted vehicle, again winning a trophy certificate and 20 pounds from war games, we have given to Darren Allen's The Vita. So characters, there was loads of characters. Yeah, really, really nicely painted, uh, but the winner, trophy again, certificate and £20 from War Games, goes to Chris Tutil's Changeling. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Players Play Awards, so these have been voted by you guys throughout the weekend for your best game. That goes to Simon Truell. Okay, best painted armies. In third place with 31 points was John Hickton and his Tyrannus. Second place was with 38 points was Joe Jones and his Elton Sutton. First place by one point, 39 points, was Frederick Glasman. Awards. Basically, this is us, some really, really special awards um, that we vote for, the SN team. And we judge them on what we think the hobby is all about and what we think and why we started SN. Okay, so first off, we have um, Frederick Carrasco. <coughs> Five pounds off of your free ticket. <laughs> 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 
Second up, a gorgeous, gorgeous, very elite army, something you don't see a lot. Um, Toby and his custodes. Okay, next up, we have um, a ve another very, very elite army. Um, beautiful, beautiful paint job. Um, and that's Joe Jones and his... Okay, next up, two more to go. An awesome, awesome army with a massive centerpiece that created what really, really striked us, and that's Aaron Mosquera and his orcs. Oh, yeah. Last but no means least, an awesome, awesome list. I love the list. The free hand was absolutely spectacular. The colors they had used on it as well. Um, and that was Hendrik Müller and his Elmer. The chocolate works. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really cool that we had four girls applying this year for no reason, and two of them made the cut. So I just want to give a little something to them. So it's called Tess. Aww. Okay. Yeah. So last, there's no spoon. There's something else. Oh. <laughs> That's it. We've got enough points for 40k, so we thought he should start another game. <laughs> and that's Richard Hope and his face. Okay, so I'm slowly, I'm going to just say names, okay? No more that, and I'll stop. A bit, uh, trying to stop at sixth place or fifth place. Okay, so next we have Martin Baker, Paul Lawrence, Tess, Harry, Adam, Matthew Johnston, Joe Pointing, John Hickton, Harry Scarf, James Odero, Chris Shepard, Nathan Rodriguez, Darren yes. Allen, Aidan Mosquera, Joe Jones, Martin Gato, John Wamsley, Julian Chichon, Hendrik Mueller, Mikey Herbert, Simon Troel, Maxwell, Ian Gonzalez, Dayan Corso, Jamie Robson, Paul Tonks, Ryan Kemp, Toby Lydiard, Frederick Bradasco, and Martin, Martin McNeil. Such a tight point in the fourth game, me and Mike sat down and said there was about eight people that could get into the top three. So that's never happened before. So it was really, really tight and it did the last game did could go relatively different if, if another table were going to be. So okay, seventh place <laughs> is Tristan Wexton and his caps. Sixth place is Robin Neal and his Iron Man. Fifth place is Trema Chema Triguero and his Zin Steam. Sadly not making top three, but well deserved, Lewis Arms and his Tower Empire. Band. So that's really, really good. Yeah, great, great list. Okay, third place 
20, so, games. 20 pounds from War Games. 20 games from War Games. Is Mark yeah. Cumberbum and he's a <laughs> <Kira> next. <laughs> Trophy certificate again and fifty pounds from War Games. Yes, is Lawrence Baker and his stuff. Christopher Tutil and his care students. He gets a trophy, he gets a free ticket to no retreat. He gets £70 from War Games and a free shipped game map to you, Mats. Wow. So, speech, there's always a speech for a winner. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, thanks so much to all the team who organised this. I haven't been in the hobby that long, but I just don't know how much of an awesome event this was. Um, just my kind of word of mouth. I, I got a kind of last minute invitation, and I can just see why it's so popular. Uh, the format, the way it's run, absolutely fantastic. Being in the room with such nice people, I've still never had a bad game. 40k, but every single game has been so thoroughly enjoyable. So, thank you very much, everybody, for making it such a great experience, and uh, can't wait to come back next year. And then, anybody who wants something, just come back into the room after the fight. Hey guys, Lawrence here from Tabletop Tactics with the beard. Hello. Hey beard. How are you? So we're here to talk to you about the SN Battle Reports No Retreat Tournament. We've just finished No Retreat 5. It's all done. It's all done. It's, all, it's been very epic, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Did you have a good time? It was excellent. Yeah, so did I. Fourth time here. It's been a dream. Yeah. Dream town. So how did you, how did you do? Not very well. Okay. To be honest, <laughs> not very well. Well, if we're talking logistical points in terms of how much I killed, I did very well. I think you actually placed above me, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Yeah. So he killed more than me. So I suppose Chaos would actually be pleased. So he did very well. pleased. Yeah. In the in the, in the something something far future, there's only war. That's correct. So I killed some stuff. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we just wanted to mention uh, a little bit about uh, No Retreat. We get lots of questions about No Retreat. We thought we'd tell you what SN Battle Reports and the No Retreat format's about. So generally speaking. It's uh, you're gaming in a retreat, which is pretty much a paradise. So you're on the rock of Gibraltar, and uh, you have five epic games of 40k over two days, uh, generally with pretty amazing weather. The best boards, all of the boards are laid out with brilliantly painted scenery, mm -hmm. uh, high quality armies because there's a, a good application process to, to get you know really nice quality painted armies through. Uh, and in general, it's, it's, it's kind of like a holiday, really. It's a 40k holiday, which is really yes. awesome. Yeah. Um, so this is our, well, this is your third? My fourth? Fourth? My fourth, your fifth? It's my fifth. Yeah. It's your fourth. So um, I came second this time. I've won it three times before. That's very Thank you very much. But uh, there you go. Mm. Dice gods betrayed me, didn't they, Mr. Beard? They did. But having said that, for me, personally, it's not really about winning and no. brutal competition. I think What's it about, it's about the people. It's about the emotions. It's about rolling the dice. Um, and 
the yeah, it's good fun. It's it good is. fun. It's good. Yeah. It's not like it's not like a win at all cost tournament. No, it's, it's not. not the kind of place you're gonna come and be intimidated by the people that are like Ugh, I must win all of the games, otherwise I'm not gonna have a good time. Yeah, it's more about you're gonna have a good it's time a game and roll some dice. Yeah, that's what I like to do. I like rolling dice. Do you? I do. It's Did you favorite. roll anything other than ones this time round? Me at one or two, not many. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, if you're not familiar with SM Battle Reports, go check them out on their website, www.smbattlereports.com. They have the data crypts where you can uh, actually sign up to their exclusive White Dwarf, old school White Dwarf style Battle Reports. That's cool. And they also put uh, the uh, articles out, I believe it's one Battle Report a month as well, which is really, really cool. They're great reads. And on top of that, if you're on the websites, uh, you can keep your eyes peeled for future events, which we highly recommend. We do. Uh, because we've been to, well, I've been to every one. You planning on going to the next one? Yes. Yeah. Silly approval. How? There it is. Do it. it, folks. No, I don't want to. You can keep it. Bye bye. Hey guys, welcome to No Retreat 5. We've just completed the uh, tournament. It's been a really good weekend. Yeah. I know you had fun, did you Jamie? Blood Angels? Yeah, it was good actually. I, uh, I, they're not a very competitive list, but um, I've done better than I thought it was going to be. It's a fluffy list. I know, I know. How do you, you do, Jay? You've done quite well, didn't you? It was good, yeah. Came 23rd overall. Um, got second for Best Painted Army, which, to be honest, I mainly come for tournaments and things uh, for bringing nice looking armies that are quite fluffy and to just have a bit of fun with. Yeah. Uh, no Retreat 5, Wicked Tournament, and to be honest, all the SN tournaments are great for it. You can bring a lot of, a lot of sort of Random list, and actually, the yeah. the idea is it's much more about the army you build, the exactly. list, yeah. it's uh, all the way space. you play it, it's as opposed to just bringing net list, which is quite fun. Yeah. Uh, it makes for a very different tournament, but that, actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's well worth it. It's a wicked event, and you see some of the most brilliantly painted armies, some of the best players around. Yeah. And actually, highly recommend it if you get a chance. Always apply. There's no harm in trying, and it's a yeah, wicked event. Apply. That's the thing. It's, it's not about being sort of oh, I'm not, you know. I, it, if you don't apply, you'll never know. And the other good thing about it as well is it pushes you to sort of push yourself with painting and push yourself with sort of gaming as well. Uh, it, as Joe said, it's not a, a competitive, everyone's sort of dog eat dog sort of environment. That's not what it is. And it really has got a great community aspect to it when you do come to these events. Uh, you know, we've, we've all been, I think you've been both twice before. Uh, yeah, this is my fourth one now. This is my second time. Yeah, I think uh, so. It's fourth one. Everyone's really friendly, you know, no one's actually just throw, there's no yeah. animosity. Exactly. You know, if there's an issue in the game, you just crack on and just roll off for it. Yeah. You've got full, you know, full support. I'm, I'm just happy I survived. I survived no retreat. Yeah, yeah, I, so I, I, I survived yeah, no retreat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. Exactly. So, yeah, it's, it's been so. great. It's been really, really good. Uh, so, again, guys, if you are interested in finding out a bit more after this video uh, about SN Barrel Reports and No Tree, just head to www.snbarrelreports.com. Uh, we've got loads of information about future events and uh, they've got loads of great old school White Dwarf style sort of Barrel Reports. So, do go check those out and uh, I hope you like the video. The other thing, just, just as a quick reminder, is if you do want to see any of the stuff that's happened at SN, you can see all the armies, we've got them all on our, all, uh, all on our Instagram page. Um, <laughs> as well as that, you can see all the guys that have won SN awards, including my own Thousand Sons army, which I'm pretty happy about. It's the second time they've won. Second time. Yeah, second time. Yeah. Proper, proper Next, time. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm going to go for Best Painted Army with some Death Guard, which you'll see some more photos of that coming up on our Instagram page over the next couple of months. Yes, do check that out. Follow us on all our usual social media, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, we've got, put up some new videos on YouTube soon, so go check those out, guys. Our website, again, is www.cgstudios.co.uk. Thanks so much from Tris, Joe, and myself. I hope you like the video, and we'll uh, see you guys on the next one. Take care. Cheers, guys. May the hobby be the winner. May the hobby be the winner. <laughs>